Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team and today we are going to learn how to sculpt terrain in Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, before we move on to the terrain tools, remember that you must set all resolution settings before we start sculpting. Otherwise, if you try to change them later, all sculpting will be lost. So make sure the resolution values in the section resolution of the terrain settings are the way you want them to be. Now, the first three tools of the on the terrain inspector toolbar are the weight tools. They are used to paint changes in the height on the terrain. These tools provide a set of brushes and settings for brush size and opacity, just like painting tools from an image editor. These allow you to paint details on the, on, in your terrain just like if you were painting an image. Now, if you move the cursor to the Scene tab, you will see a blue area projected in the terrain. This lets you know the area of the terrain that your brush will affect. The first tool is the Raise Lower Height. When painting with this tool, the height of the terrain will be increased as you swap the mouse over it. As you can see, let's move the camera a little bit further. Okay, so as you can see, when I go with my mouse on the terrain and I press the mouse button, the terrain will rise. The amount of the, the terrain that will rise depending on it depends of the time you you keep pressing the button. If you if you press the button for a long time on the, on a certain area, you will have a very big height, as you can see. If you just small press, it will be less height. Okay, to lower the, the terrain. Okay, so you just have these mountains right here. To lower them, you just press the shift button and click with the mouse again. And as you can see, this will lower the terrain to the original size of the terrain. Now, as you can see here, you can change the brush size to get it bigger for example 95 this will affect a, a larger area or you can change the opacity higher values of opacity will result in um, in, a, in, in the more strong change in terrain while lower values will be more softened changes Okay, so let's change this and cl let's clean this up so you can continue to, to see the terrain. Now you can also change the brushes, as you can see you have several brushes that you can choose from. Right now we, ha we have here is the, the basic one that is chosen by default, but we can also have for example this one. As you can see, we'll create we'll create different effects on the terrain. Now, the second tool of the editor is the paint weight. This tool is used when you want to set a specific height to an area of the terrain. Uh, it works in a similar way to the raise and lower tool but it has an additional property to set the target height. Okay, so you have the brush side, the opacity and you have height when you can select the height you want to that specific area. So let's pretend, let's just choose this one. And if you go here, 
then you set this height okay I think the height is we are still too close to the terrain so let's move away so okay so no we want to set the height for example to 41 as you can see the terrain will rise but once it hits the 41 of height it will stop so you can select the desired height by changing the values on the height parameter and you also have the flatten button the flatten button next to the height property will level the whole terrain to the chosen height so okay so you have 41 right and height if we, ch if we click on flatten all terrain will be placed on height 41 okay so right now you have still 41 selected so no raising of the terrain because all the terrain is on height 41 but if you want for example to lower the terrain this time you can lower it because the full terrain is on height 41 so you can lower the terrain until you have the zero value that you couldn't do before because or, um, when you insert the terrain into the scene it will automatically be on height zero now moving on we go to the final tool which is the smooth height tool this tool will not drastically increase or decrease the height of the terrain instead it will soften the landscape and reduce the appearance of abrupt changes as you can see from this, the tools we used before all the changes we get are kind of abrupt okay so the terrain is not softened there is, that, there is no soft changes in terrain this is why you want to use this tool this tool is particularly useful when you want to have uh, painted details using one of the noiser brushes because since these brushes tend to create very sharp uh, shapes um, you can use it to create jagged rockets into landscape or soften the landscape with it so let's for example create mm, not, a, not a good example let's close this one let's for example select this one here okay so moving on to another area maybe maybe easier to see okay so we have like these shapes as you can see they are not very soft if you select the soft the smooth height you still can change the brush size and the opacity but if you go here it will smooth the terrain as you can see the more I go with the more I hit the terrain on this area with this tool the more smooth and smooth the terrain will be as for here for example let's pretend that I want to smooth this particular area okay I select the tool as you can see now it looks way better so basically this is how you use the height tools for the unity 5 terrain so this concludes our video on height tools on the next video we will show you how you can texture your terrain for now uh, we will recommend you guys to play a bit with these tools try to create for example an island or, or a mountain with several shapes try to get familiar with the tools uh, and on the next video we will we'll show you how to paint the terrain you just created Okay guys, until next time, have a nice day.